Hey guys, Paul from Ultimate Fapper here, and today I want to talk to you really quickly about the best creatine dosage. What's the optimal amount of creatine monohydrate that you need to take to get the results that you want? I'll be right back in a couple of seconds with the answer. Stick around, don't go anywhere. All right, welcome back. So, what's the best creatine dosage? Well, I'm gonna let you in on a little secret here. This is kind of a trick question. You see, creatine monohydrate has been proven in all sorts of studies and at all sorts of dosage levels. For example, some studies use a 20 gram per day loading phase that can last from three to seven days, followed by a five gram per day maintenance dose. Others skip the loading phase altogether and use a slightly higher maintenance dose. And still others have been performed with just the base five grams per day maintenance dose, no loading phase at all. And guess what? All the studies showed that creatine monohydrate was effective in improving anaerobic performance, regardless of the dose. So to determine what the best dose is for you, you really need to consider why you would consider a loading dose in the first place. Bear with me for just a moment while I explain what I mean. When you take creatine monohydrate, the goal is to saturate your muscles with the stuff, right? So it can start to work its magic. And it takes a little while to accomplish this. Now, if you're conducting a clinical trial, it makes sense that you obtain peak muscle saturation as soon as possible. So you can focus on measuring the full effects of this supplement right away and not have to sit around for a few weeks waiting to reach peak muscle saturation, right? Think about it. If you take 20 grams of creatine per day for five days, that's 100 grams. If you take five grams per day, it would take almost three weeks to consume the same amount of the supplement. In a short-term clinical study, a loading dose makes sense. So what a loading dose does is allow you to reach peak muscle saturation quicker, which means you will see results faster. Now, are there any downsides of a loading phase? Well, not really. You have to remember to take the supplement four times a day and if you get a little stomach nausea from creatine, and some people do have to deal with that, you're gonna to have to deal with a lot more of it, obviously. Additionally, depending on what kind of product you're using, this may cause you to go through the first bottle rather quickly, so experimenting or supplementing can end up being a little more expensive. So at the end of the day, there isn't really any best perfect dosage, there's only the best dosage for you. Do you wanna see results as quickly as possible? Then take 20 grams per day for five days and then taper down to a five gram per day maintenance dose although you might want to boost your maintenance dose to 10 grams per day if you're over 200 pounds. If you're okay with taking a little longer to get results, you can start with a maintenance dose of five to 10 grams per day and just take that every single day. Simple, right? Nothing to get all worked up about. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you found that helpful. If you have any comments, please leave them below and I'd love it if you give us a thumbs up or share this video, that'd be great. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, what are you waiting for? You'll be updated whenever we post new videos. All right, thanks again for watching. I'll see you again real soon.